Once you have logged in, click here to begin a new works in progress poster submission. Enter your poster title and then let us know if you would like to apply for the ASPN Fellow Research Presentation Award. More information on this award can be found here. For this submission, I'm going to say no and click submit. This will lead you to your task page, which shows all the tasks you need to complete in order to submit. The first task is the submission criteria. This is very important as works in progress have very strict criteria that you must follow. So in order to be able to submit a works in progress, you must attest that you are a trainee, student, resident, or fellow. You are the presenting and first author for this submission. Your mentor is a co-author for this submission, entering their name. And then you also need to confirm that your submission includes a complete background to justify the study, objective to detail the study goal, and design method sections that detail IRB required approvals, how the study is being conducted, and a data analysis plan and timeline. You're also attesting that your data sets and results are incomplete as of today when you're submitting, but will be complete by April 1, 2024. So I fit the criteria. So I'm going to check yes to all of these, entering my mentor's name, saying yes, and clicking continue. If for any reason I could not say yes to all of these questions, then that means I need to go to the PAS abstract submission site, which is linked above, because my abstract needs to be submitted there. My abstract is not a work in progress. Clicking continue brings us back to our task list where we will then download the submission guidelines. It's important to keep these up as it will walk you through the whole process. So you open those and click continue to task. Then we will download important important works in progress poster information, clicking the red button, keeping this up as we go through the submission process and clicking continue to tasks. Next is the acknowledgement task. This says that you agree to the following statement, that the presenting first author and all co-authors must complete their author information and COI before you're able to submit. Please remember that per CME guidelines, additional co-authors cannot be added after submission. So you must include all of your co-authors when you're submitting. So you're gonna click that acknowledge statement, enter your name and click submit agreement. You're then going to come back and go into works in progress poster. This is where you're going to enter all of your information for your works in progress poster. A couple of things to remember, the total character count is 2080 and includes spaces. Also, HTML cannot be used in your submission. So the abstract review is blinded and no institutional individual author information be entered in the abstract title or body. So you're going to um, select your, cor your correct topic, remembering that here you can get a list of topics and then also a definition. So this is very important to review these links and then select which topic you are applying for. You then once again need to address that your data sets and results are incomplete as today, but will be complete by April 1. And then you're going to go into listing your background objective and design methods for your work in progress poster. The background must justify the study. The objective must detail the study goal and the design methods must detail IRB required approvals how the study is being conducted, data analysis plan and timeline, remembering that incomplete submissions may be removed from scoring. Click continue and then you'll be brought back to your task page, moving on to additional poster details. So this has a couple of things that we would like information on. You'll fill those out and click complete task. Moving on to author information. Here is an important page that tells you in the blue box all of the things that you need to do to complete this task. So you're going to notice when you first scroll down, your name is listed here and your role is already presenting in first author because to submit a work in progress, you must be the submitter and you must be presenting in first author. So you're going to go in and hit edit and then you're going to fill out the information for yourself. Okay, so you're going to go in, fill all of this out and then click continue. Clicking continue will bring you back and you'll see that your profile is completed showing a green check mark. Now you need to go in and start adding your co-authors, remembering that one of your co-authors should be your mentor. So you're going to go in, I'm going to add Byron and click that he's a co-author and then click add author.
At this point, the system is going to automatically have Byron as a co-author, but he needs to fill out both his profile information as well as his COI. So I'm going to click Invite. And this is going to invite Byron to fill out the information he is required to submit as a co-author before you can complete your submission. So you're going to go in and add all of your co-authors, remembering to add that mentor as a co-author as well. And then you would think you would click Save Authors, but because Byron has not completed his profile, we're not able to move on. So while he is completing his profile, we're going to go back up to Tasks, and we're going to move on to Presenting First Author Information. Click Edit. And this is where you, as the presenting first author, are going to give your DEI information. So fill out this information, and then you are going to click Continue. Then complete the task, and you're going to come back and get that green check mark. Next up are your COIs. So you're going to click this. All the information in the blue box is very important. You're going to see you are first listed and then all of your co-authors. So you can edit your form going in and saying whether you had financial relationships or not, personal gifts. And then you also have to click the agree box and click and enter your name, clicking submit. Now at this point, it's going to give you a green check mark, but you have to wait until Byron completes his information before you can move on. So if you hit Save Disclosures, you're going to get that error message again. No problem. While your co-authors are completing their task, we're going to go back into the task list, and then we're going to go down to Acknowledgement of Attendance. So this reads that as the presenting first author, if your Works in Progress poster is accepted, you will be expected to attend and present in Toronto. I'm going to check the box, enter my name, and hit Submit Agreement. At this point, you have completed everything you can in advance of your co-authors completing their required task. So... Every time that someone completes a task, you will get notified. And then when everyone has completed their task, you're going to come back in and complete the remaining tasks that don't have a green check mark. Now that I know that all my co-authors have completed their required task, I'm going to log back in, click Author Information. You'll scroll down and see that you have all green check marks, and then you can hit Save Authors. This is going to give us that green check mark. Doing the same for COI showing that you have all green check marks and hitting save disclosures. At this point, you will go in and hit payment, pay your $100, and then once that's complete, you will come back to your task list with all green check marks. This is an important part of continuing to submit. So you have all green check marks. Now you're going to click continue to submit. This gives you an overview of everything you have done. You can click for a preview, and then you are going to hit the Submit button. Once you hit Submit, you will come down and see that your status is complete. This is the only thing that confirms that you have, in fact, completed your submission. You will also receive an email. Thank you for submitting.